So again, I was asked to show you how to make a standard curve using Microsoft Excel. So here, just like I did in the Mac equivalent to this video, I have typed in my concentrations that we use during our serial dilution as well as the relative absorbances as they corresponded to those concentrations. So to do this graph, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of my values and I'm going to come into insert. I'm going to choose scatter and then I'm going to choose this first scatter type, scatter with only markers. That gives me my graph and again I'm going to clean this up by removing the series title I'm going to format grid lines and choose no line, close. And then I'm going to come to my axes and I'm actually going to format my axes. So I'm going to right click on this one. Okay. And for my fixed value here, after I choose format axis, I'm going to choose a fixed value of 10, and for my number, I'm going to put zero decimal places. Just double check my axis options. I'm going by major units of two, which I'm fine with. So I'm going to close that up. That is my new axis. And I'm going to come and do the same for the Y. So right click, format axis. And my fixed value for my maximum, I'm going to change to 1.0. I'm going to do major units of 0.1 and then my number will be just general. Okay, so there we go. And now what I want to do is I want to add my trend line. So I want to do the line of best fit for my standard curve. So I'm going to click on my data points and then I'm going to right click. Of course if the computer will allow me to, right click and I'm going to choose add trend line and I'm going to choose a linear trend line and I'm going to close it up and now I have my line of best fit for my standard curve. So now all I need to do is just add in uh, some axis titles. So I'm going to go up here to chart tools on the ribbon, choose layout and here are my axis titles and horizontal axis I'm going to add and this is going to change to concentration in milligrams per milliliter and then I'm also going to add an axis title for the vertical. Rotated title. And this is going to be absorbance. Okay, and then of course a chart title, centered overlay title. I'm going to say standard curve for protein standard. I'll move it over here just a little bit. And I can enlarge my graph if I need to. There we go. And that's all there is to it. So I now could use this standard curve to help me calculate the relative concentration of an unknown solution if I were able to obtain the absorbance of that solution. And that's all there is to it.